A pleasant good morning to everyone. I am Asajit of Great 10th is here to present a short seminar on the topic microscope. Microscope has multiple lenses which collect the light from the object and then focus the light into eyes. These microscopes have the ability to magnify very minute objects to a substantial size, clearly showing the smallest details. Now let's look into the parts and their uses. A. The eyepiece or ocula is the largest part of the microscope closest to your eyes through which we look. It contains the ocular lens which makes the effect produced by the objective lenses larger and the eyepiece named label with this magnification for example 5x or 10x meaning it is largest 5 times or 10 times. B. The body tube holds the eyepiece at position for the revolving nose piece and the objectors. The body tube may be straight up or down and may be slanted. C. The arm is the curved metal piece that holds the body tube in place over the stage and the base. D. The revolving nose piece holds the objectors and allows us to change the objectors while looking at a slide. E. The objectives are the parts that at the bottom of the body tube closest to the sample we are examining. Each object has a lenses and the tube like holder at the mount. The larger mounts hold the stronger lenses, the high power lenses and the shorter mounts hold the weaker lenses that is the low power lenses. Like the eyepieces, objectives also come in various parts of microscope has several objectives for example 4x or 5x or 40x or 45x or 100x some microscopes only have one or two objectives f the stage is the flat surface on which we put the slides or samples g the stage clips Holds the slide in plate on the stage. H. Under the stage, in all the microscope, have a condenser with a diameter 39.5 mm, which collects and concentrates the light passes through the sample. I. The iris diaphragm is used to control the amount of light reaching the specimen. It is located above the condenser and below the stage. J. The coarse adjustment knob is the large knob used to adjust the position of the body tube, allowing us to quickly bring the sample or slide. K. The fine adjustment knob is the small knob used to change the position of the body tube and making small adjustment to the focus of the sample. Almost all the microscope have both coarse and fine adjustment knobs and some has only one knob. L. The mirror is used to reflect the light from an external light source up through the bottom of the stage and it also increases the amount of the shining of to the sample or slide. M. The base of the microscope is the heavy bottom part in the microscope. It supports all other parts in the microscope. N. The substage adjustment knob is used to move condenser up and down. Next, bringing it into focus, these are specialized optical instruments designed to produce magnified visual or photographic images of objects or specimens that are too small to be seen with the naked eyes. Utilizing a microscope in a proficiency that can be readily learned by almost everyone. Now let's get into the working part. Step 1. Always pick the microscope firmly with two hands, one hand under the base and another on the arm. Place the microscope on a table away from the edge. Move it into the position in which the place is comfortable to look for the eyepiece. You may want to sit on a chair or tool. Step 2. Make sure low power objective is in a place over the hole in the stage. Use the coarse adjustment knob to raise the objectives so that its last bend is about 1 inch 2.5 cm above the stage. In all the microscope, the iris diaphragm at the stage open it fully. Step 3. Put the slide on the stage at the center. 
so that we can look the slide in the hole under the lens. Use the stage clips to hold the slide and place it. Step 4. Look through the microscope so that we see the circle of light against the black background. Move the concave mirror to make bright and even as possible. Step 5. The reflector lens one side flat while the other is concave. It is very difficult to say which one is best to use every case. So we have to experiment to see which gives the best view. Flat side will provide a darker image. In most cases, the curved side will provide a brighter image. Here are some helpful hints for you. Never use your microscope in direct sunlight as the reflected light could damage your eyes. Step 6. If you are using a lamp or for your lighting, put it about 20 cm away from the microscope. Adjust the lamp so that the light points towards the mirror under the stage. Step 7. I have already told you in step 2, the low power objectives is in the place over the hole in the stage. Look through the eyepiece and use the course adjustment to focus it on upwards or move away from the sample or slide. This should bring the slide into our view. If you go too far, simply begin again at step 2. Step 8. When the specimen slide comes into focus, it will become sharp and clear. Step 9. Use the high power objectives to turn the revolving nose piece to bring it in a position over the sample or slide. You should be able to see the sample or slide through the high power objectives, so you should only have to adjust the fine adjustment knob. Step 10. Now adjust the aperture control with the help of the diaphragm. Close it until the circle of light attends and then opens it again slightly and stop it where you get the maximum resolution of slide and sample in view. Step 11. Now see the slide in the eyepiece to observe it. Now I hope everyone would have understand and enjoy this concept clearly. So this is how we have to work on with the microscope. So now in this image you can clearly see the parts of the microscope. So these are the parts and these are the working model for the microscope. I hope everyone would have understand this. Thank you for giving me this great opportunity to express our talents. Thank you for your patient listening. Thank you.